Hello YouTube, this is PSP Slim Hex, and today I'm going to show you how to install Windows 10 Beta for free. Uh, Microsoft likes to call it uh, the Windows 10 Beta, uh, Windows Technical Preview. So uh, yeah, that's what, what I'm going to be referring it to. So yeah, uh, in order to download a uh, Windows Technical Preview, you're going to need to um, to get the ISO image directly from Microsoft.com from their official website. Please do not download it from any other website because it could be a scam. And it's saying that you could download, uh, you could ex you could download the the operating system and and uh, burn it into a CD and boot it up from there, or you could use use a USB flash drive. Uh, I'm just gonna use it in a DVD for today. So yeah, uh, it's gonna the link is gonna be in, in the description below. And uh, here's the download links with the product key as well. So you could download it in English, uh, Chinese, and Portuguese. So uh, the file is going to be uh, like almost 4 gigabytes, so it's going to take like maybe an hour or two for some of you to download. So yeah, uh, the only note that I have for uh, this video is that I strongly, strongly not recommend overriding your current operating system that you're using right now to install Windows 10. Uh, and why? Because uh, Windows 10 uh, is a beta, so meaning that it could have a few bugs, it may freeze frequently since it's not pretty stable right now. So uh, just a heads up, if you have a spare hard drive, please use that because um, it's just a spare hard drive. So uh, that way, in case if you, if you encounter any, any issues, you could just format the hard drive and just use it for something else. So please do not override your, uh, your current operating system with Windows 10 Beta. So yeah, that's just a heads up. So currently, I'm going to download uh, the English 64-bit. So I'm just going to download it, and it's going to be 3.8 gigabytes. So that's going to take a while. So... I'll be right back once it's finished downloading. Now that my uh, now that Windows Technical Preview is finished downloading, I'm gonna burn it uh, using a DVD. So I'm gonna use a DVD plus R double layer. So I know that's uh, that's a lot of memory. I could use a normal uh, DVD plus R, but currently I only have a double layer. So yeah, you could use the software that's built in, uh, which are with Microsoft's uh, operating system, you could just burn it from here, or you could use uh, third-party software such as ISO. Currently, I'm just gonna be burning it with the current um, uh, Windows um, burning software or burning uh, gadget, whatever. So yeah, I'm just gonna burn it. I'm just gonna insert my disk, and I'm gonna burn it, and I'll be right back. Now that you have your, now uh, I finish uh, burning my the ISO file into a CD and DVD drive and it works as you can see I uh, I re ejected and I popped it back in and uh, the autoplay feature came up to me saying if I want to run my setup so that's a good sign that your CD is ready to boot I'll tell you the next steps for those people that are going to be using a spare hard drive to install Windows 10 beta I strongly suggest you that you disconnect your main hard drive off your motherboard first so uh, that's exactly what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna disconnect my main motherboard my main hard drive sorry and connect my spare hard drive so I'm gonna do that I'm connecting my main my spare hard drive to the motherboard and I'm just gonna connect the power to the spare hard drive just let me put this down somewhere and I already did so I'm just gonna power on my computer and um and right now you want to go into your BIOS and and the way you go to your BIOS is by pressing F2 or delete in your case is gonna be different so I'm gonna press delete like I said your case is gonna be different um and yeah I'm just gonna wait for the BIOS and in the BIOS I'm gonna go all the way to the boot tab and go to boot device priority and uh, right now my first boot device is uh, Hitachi which is my hard drive so I'm gonna change it from my hard drive to my CD DVD drive so I'm gonna do that which is CD DVD and yeah and um and before exiting and saving the changes I'm gonna um, insert my Windows 10 um, beta CD the one that we just burned I already have it in here so it doesn't matter I'm just gonna close that and I'm gonna exit and save the changes so I'm just gonna let that boot and I'm gonna press any key that will boot up from the CD and you're gonna see a um, Windows 10 logo and I'll be right back once it's finished um, 
going to the next step. And once you get to the Windows setup screen, you just want to select your language and your keyboard input, and you're just going to click next. And just let me focus for you guys. And you're going to hit install now. You're just going to set the license and terms. You're going to click next. And I always go to custom install, and I always format the hard drive that I'm going to be installing. So I'm just, this is my spare hard drive, so I'm just going to format it. And I'm going to click next. And we're just going to wait till uh, the Windows setup installs uh, Windows 10 beta. So uh, once uh, getting files ready for installation is finished, uh, you're going to get all these green checks, and uh, your, your computer is probably going to restart. So I'm just going to wait for it to. I'm just going to restart it now. And I'm going to go back into my BIOS. And remember how we had our, our DVD drive as our main boot up? I'm going to switch it back to uh, the hard drive. That way it won't read the disk no more. So I'm just going to press delete to go into my BIOS. And like I said, I'm going to change my boot device to my CD, to my DVD instead of to my hard drive. Sorry to my hard drive instead of the DVD and I'm gonna exit and save the changes this time is actually booting up into the Windows 10 um, beta so I'm just gonna let it load your computer is gonna reboot one more time so just let it do let it do what it has to do So now you're gonna choose your um your internet. So mine says uh, my B S S I D S A M D Phenom, and I'm just gonna enter my password. So I don't know why it shows the characters when I when I type the password, but whatever. I'm gonna click next. I'm gonna be verifying my connection, and uh, I'm just gonna use uh use Express settings for now. And uh, you're going to need to have a Microsoft uh, Windows account, which is a uh, Microsoft email, such as Hotmail. So, yeah, if you have your, your own uh, Hotmail account, you could use that. If you don't, uh, there's going to be a link somewhere around the screen that will let you uh, create an account right there at this screen. That way you don't have to go back to another computer or disconnect your hard drive or whatever. So uh, I'm just going to enter my information. And right here is... Uh, how we like this code help us protect your info you just, uh, you just click next oh you just um, wanna type the to verify that this is your email please enter below and click and click next uh, to receive it so basically you're just typing this uh, same email that you type uh, at the beginning and uh, they send us um, uh, a code to your email that you just typed or if you don't want to do that, you could just click I can't do this right now. And you could just uh click next. Congratulations, doing you just finished installing Windows 10 beta. And you know it's Windows 10 beta because uh whenever you go to uh start, they uh, Microsoft returned the old start menu again. So if you go on all apps, you're going to see the normal folders like S you will see in Windows 7. And yeah, I don't know why it didn't ask me for a, a product key. I'm just going to go to my computer and verify if this is activated or not. So I'm just going to go to computer, system properties. Uh, I guess it's activated. It says Windows is activated. So yeah. Well, uh, thank you for watching this video. Please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe. This is me showing you how to install Windows Technical Preview which is uh, the name that Microsoft calls Windows 10 beta so yeah this is PSP Slimhacks thank you for watching bye